मैं 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 So yes, uh, you can start shooting your questions today. Yeah, that's the most interesting part. I think these days for anybody. So Hello. Yes, that's Hello. something Hello. that she has Hello. been Hello. waiting Hello. for. She's been looking forward to it. Yeah, so you yes. know how I've been waiting for this. <laughs> and we have been waiting for you to arrive. Yeah. So yes, we are even now. All right. I mean, it's really good to see you. You know, tell us what are the three things you look into when you become a part of any brand or associate how? yourself with any brand. You know your association with this brand. Whenever you become a part of any brand or you associate yourself with any brand, what are the three things you look into? Um, three things: happiness, happiness, happiness. I think you should be happy being a part of any brand. But on a serious note, something which, um, uh, of course, I know that it it can connect with its consumers, the target audience, and it's not harmful. I think that's on a serious note. These are the two things which are really. Important. So, what is fashion for you? Just said, I think I'm, I'm a very wrong person to define fashion, but um, I think this platform gave us a very again I think just rejuvenated or just refreshing the whole idea of basically fashion is nothing but an expression of art, and there's nothing like it, you know, to celebrate uh, uh, you know a synergy or an amalgamation of art and fashion. So it's it's really nice. I think that's why the response was fabulous. I guess um, we got a very good response. So yeah. I think it's the, in this space. I don't know in what sense should I put it, but it's very easy to come in limelight for anybody. वो आप पे depend करता है आप उसे किस तरह से लेते हैं. As for I know I I'm not working here for limelight. I'm mean, working here for work. I happen to be in industry which is obviously it's media centric. It's 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 all for the public. It's all for the people. They are the, they're actually you know the, the real heroes in our life. And Paki. Um, I'm here just for work. You will see me. I'm standing here because of a certain work that I've done. And in future, also you will see me for the body of work that I'll make. There's nothing else which is important. Okay, your working experience with Ritik Roshan. What do you have learned from him? What I've learned from him. There is. I can write an entire, I think, thesis on what I've learned from him. But to sum it up, uh, he is. You know, he's a dream. Co-actor for anybody to work with, and I just said since I just finished a dance shoot um, with Ritik. Honestly, I got when I knew that I have such a dance number and all, uh, uh, you know, song shoot. I got a mentally, I got a fever. <laughs> I got a fever. that obviously it's Ritik Roshan, but uh, there's a reason why he is that and why he's still, you know, the best dancer. I think because he doesn't cease to learn. Never. My entire schedule, I've heard him say, be it a dance uh, step or be it any scene, anything. Ha, it's very easy. Ha, mujhe aata hai. He doesn't take his work for granted at all. He just gives it his best, and he's always comes with fresh energy. He's always ready to learn something. Let's just create something. New. So that is uh, the ability to keep, uh, um, you know, reinventing yourself. It's amazing. Yeah, we 
you doing Kabir with Hrithik Roshan? You know, their duty and responsibility as an actor goes up when you get such opportunity to work with Hrithik. There are films, there are other projects of yours which is already there in the timeline. People are talking about it. Do you, do, you, do you think the responsibility as an actor as an individual goes up? My responsibility is just to just to work, work to my best ability. Rest is up to the audience, and we work. We hoping it's all going to go really well. Then, Dishar, what made you bring art and uh, fashion together? So thank you so much. <laughs> So I, I At least someone is sticking to the topic. Yes. All right. Take us up. Funny, I think. I think all girls love their shoes. All right. And what is that one fashion accessory that you do not leave your home without? My bag. All right, it's back. Okay. Well, so now over to y'all. Okay, Shamita, really good to see you here. Really good to see you here. Wait, 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 wait. camera it's really good thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us, uh, oh, the very first shoes you have taken for yourself. Oh my god, I don't remember that now. <laughs> or any, anyone who gifted you, you know, uh, uh, how, how comfortable you are in high heels. Yeah, no, uh, and elastic. And of course when I go out, then that's when I'm in my heels. Tell us, tell us, tell us about the designer you're wearing at the moment. You know. You're looking uh, really hot. Thank you. I'm wearing an uh, Amy Bill Moria outfit. Go on, go on, go on. Um, and the shoes and the earrings are by uh, Gauri Malhotra Nara. Hey, Shamita, what are the three things you look into whenever you become a part of any brand or associate yourself with any brand? Credibility, of course. Um, what kind of brand are you talking about? Any brand. You, you whenever you... Credibility, obviously. I think that's, that's the only thing we sort of uh, look for first. Let me just put it that way. Hey, what happened on professional front? Was there in the pipeline? Are you working on some projects? Um, I think I'm looking at. Um, I'm actually getting some interesting uh, stuff from television. Um, so maybe soon I'll, I'll start some work on television. And uh, there's also I'm also very interested in, in doing some sort of uh, you know like these crossover films. Uh, so I'm looking for an interesting script. Till I don't get that, then obviously I won't uh, zero in on anything. Uh, if, you, if, you can, if you can throw more light on that, are you doing, I'll be, get, we'll be able to see you doing a real issue. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is something that no other girl has ever said to me while wearing heels. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, well, uh, well, one question to you as well. I mean, uh, what is that one fashion accessory that you just cannot leave your home without? One fashion accessory that you carry always. Well, it has to be your attitude. It has to be your attitude, no matter what you're wearing. So I could have walked in here with these heels or a pair of flats from us. Um, and it has to be the attitude that I'm walking with. But your fashion, attitude and a lot of other things. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, well, there you go. We will start shooting. Alright, uh, requesting all of you to please ask questions related only to Aljo. Uh, so what is your uh, which is that you have put here? Uh, what you just look up for to be the fan of that put here? Um, like I said, comfort is very important to a woman because I mean we wear uh, we like to wear heels at all times. It just gives you that grace, that poise, and uh, you know you makes you feel uh, really good about yourself. So if you're picking a pair of heels, they have to last you through the night or through the day. So I think a woman's always looking for comfort as far as footwear is concerned. Okay, when it comes to uh, looking fashionable, do you think that uh, brands are really necessary to be fashionable? Um, no, again, I've already said it. It's a lot got to do with your attitude. So, um, you won't find me. I'm not very brand conscious, but uh, whatever I wear, I need to make sure that it's an extension of who I am. So, I could be wearing a very expensive pair or one that is available uh, to, you know, anyone, but if you have the right attitude. Uh, excel entertainment which I can announce uh, in the next few weeks possibly but uh, it is a very exciting time yes a lot of people have become your, become your fans as well after band yes okay you know after doing a film with Shah Rukh, now you are working with Excel. That too, you know, that Excel belongs to Mr. Dhani and Farhan Akhtar. If you can throw some more light on that. I, I know it's too early to talk about, but still want to do. Um, you know, I have a, it's a very clean slate right now. Um, acting is what I do. And 
uh, what I love doing. And I think the focus is just going to be on uh, making sure that I stay true to who I am as an actor and uh, you know move forward with that. So right now for me, it's just going after things that uh, I believe in. Okay, post fan, how many of us come to the day? <laughs> well, in an ideal world, it would be a lot more. Uh, but I must say, um, it is a constant, uh, well, if you want to call it struggle, because uh, you're trying to live up to a lot of expectations, you're trying to better yourself every day, you're working on yourself. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, there's a lot more that comes my way. What does passion mean? Um, so fashion for me is an extension of my personality and um, and it should be for everyone. It's an extension of who they are really. So um, as far as that's concerned, you'd always see me in uh, denims, you'd always see me in uh, shirts that are uh, you know, a larger size possibly and comfortable footwear. I am trying to change that because I have a manager here who's right here who's whipping me and saying you need to change. So um, yeah, I am going a little uh, goth. I think I am uh, taking risks a little bit, but I'm a calculated risk taker, so and it shows as far as my fashion is concerned. So, as you said, that you are trying to change. Yes. So, is it not that you're going out of your comfort zone, and then how can you be comfortable with that changes? No, I'll never go away and very far away from my comfort zone. So, even today, if I decide to dress up a little bit, I'm still sticking to pants, except that they're not figure hugging and they're a little more loose. Um, so it will always be true to who I am in a sense, but a little bit of experimentation here and there. Okay, after that there's a long way to go, Evolution, but still want to know if you want to, if you want to be in the same frame with the leading man of yours, even a choice, Radhveer Kapoor or Radhveer Singh, who would you, who would you, who would you, who would you, who would you love to work with? Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a tough one, but I think Radhveer Singh is, is a crazy guy and I think he'll bring the crazy in 